Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown just released its new trailer um, with the Cruiser and the Racer previous editions. We've now got the uh, Explorer trailer. Now, um, it's just come out in Nancon's uh, event that's just going on. It's actually happening right now as I'm making this video. Um, everyone was eagerly awaiting a release date update for this game. However, they haven't provided one and they have released a Solar Club letter update as it were um, which i'll just be going over in today's video in the background of course is that trailer um, from the explorer it does look really really nice again but we just need a release date and obviously this is going to explain why we haven't got one yet in the latest trailer the explorer you are taken off the beaten track and shown the world you can endlessly explore on hong kong island whether you're behind the wheel of a heavy duty ford raptor f-150 which is designed for the rougher roads the legendary 1980s off-road lancia delta integrale or even the porsche taken turbo s cross turismo which combines performance and the latest technology you'll feel like you're driving around in a picture perfect postcard from beaches to forests to mountains hong kong island has as many landscapes to explore as it has treasures to find Alone or with friends, you can set out to find nearly 300 collectible items across the world, including rewards like solar coins, reputation, clan influence and special objects. You should also pay attention to the wreck radar which alerts you when a recoverable car part is nearby. You need to collect them all to assemble two exclusive cars. You can only add these two cars once you've found all the parts which are scattered all across the island. As well as the fun of discovering unique landscapes rarely seen in racing games these days, exploration also offers valuable rewards for your in-game progression. Now the more observant among you will have noticed the absence of particle effects. I did notice this myself when I was watching it live, especially the dust and splashes on the gravel roads when the car's going over it. Now this is simply because they're still working on integrating and optimising these effects and it's an important element of off-road immersion but also resource and performance intensive. The current development goal for this is to find the best balance between particle effects and performance while ensuring smooth gameplay remains the absolute top priority. Although they can display the long dust trails like in the WRC games with the KT engine, the scale of Hong Kong Island and the resources required to display to the other players and detailed environments means it is a lot more of a challenge in this game. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown wants to bring car enthusiasts together for a social and lifestyle experience that goes beyond the game. The vision is that a love of cars is a shared passion between friends, family, colleagues and other enthusiasts. In Solar Crown, this shared passion can be experienced in very different ways, cruising, exploring and racing etc. Whilst driving though, you always have other players around you which creates a living, breathing city. In Test Drive Unlimited, the love of cars is also experienced in the social aspect of the dealerships and workshops where you can chat about your next purchase, the car of your dreams and see how you're going to customise it or upgrade it. The Solar Hotel which was mentioned in the third club letter and Clan HQs were also created as living areas and meeting places. For various reasons, these social features require an infrastructure that is constantly connected to the online databases which is the, you know, the leaderboards, races, inventories, moderation, uh, live events, anti-cheat measures and the overall game experience. And obviously, because of that, an internet connection is therefore required to play the game. I don't know how I feel about that because offline games are dwindling a bit recently and they are needed. Some people might have a power cut, they might have an electric fault in which their internet doesn't work so they can't play the game so I don't know how they're going to really optimise that but we will see. Most of Test Drive Unlimited's gameplay has been implemented and is currently being finalised. There are lots of big challenges that the development team has been working on and to give you some of the idea of the work involved it took over three years straight to create the island at a one-to-one -one scale and its road network and to include all the details in off-road areas and the island's hidden corners. As another example, fully integrating a car model with the quality level of Test Drive Unlimited can take up to four months. This includes detailed modelling to meet manufacturer requirements adding details for maximum immersion while driving, including interior lighting with some models, unique animations such as reclining roofs uh, for the cabriolets, physics for every single road surface, engine sounds and upgrades. It is a huge amount of work to provide the most enjoyable and authentic game possible. Each car model is evaluated and tested multiple times to ensure each car provides specific sensations and a unique driving experience. They've made significant progress in recent months, especially because of the participation and feedback and suggestions in response to the letters that we're reading out now, and as well as all the trailers and the Discord discussions. They've been conducting more tests to test the power and stability of servers, 
so they can gradually reflect real-world launch conditions and server in infrastructure for an MMO like Test Drive Unlimited Solocran is a major challenge as hundreds of thousands of players are expected to be playing at any one time. They are working hard to mitigate risks associated with all the technical problems and we also know that um, they want uh, a launch date to be revealed and they understand the eagerness uh, about this however they do share the eagerness although a launch date has been considered several times they want to take the time needed to ensure that your experience of the game is as smooth stable and as fun as it can possibly be many of you have already pointed it out to them and it you know take the time to release a game that matches the expectations we don't care if it gets delayed as long as it's released in a, a full finished state that's why they're working flat out on several aspects, including the stability of the server infrastructure and optimizing the game's performance. Once they feel that those two areas are complete, stable, and then they're going to be d delivering us the long-awaited launch date with us, and then we can cross the finish line and start the long adventure at the same time. In the meantime, though, more test phases will be started soon, including the closed playtest 3, which will be bigger in scope and in larger territories. So you can sign up to that on their uh, website to uh, get access to that as well. So hopefully that clarifies a few things about the current status of the game and what the next major steps are. All the players, all the you know creators that um, talk about the game, they are monitoring everything we say. And uh, although they can't always answer, all the reactions are you know valuable to them. So make sure you do let them know what you think about everything that's going on. So what do you guys think? Let me know down there in the comments below. Um, I'm a bit disappointed we haven't got a release, but you know you have to understand that these things take a lot of time nowadays to make it as detailed as uh, this game could possibly be so i'm looking forward to uh, getting a release date in due course however um i shall hopefully see some of you in the closed playtest 3 um playing in the first two myself it's very very looking promising let's put it that way but anyway guys that's going to be for me in today's video um let me go down there in the comments below let me know um what your thoughts are and uh, if you're looking forward to still playing this game what do you reckon uh, it's going to be what you reckon it's going to be like what's the server's going to be like when do you think it's going to release let me know down there in the comments below so anyway guys that is it for me in today's video i did hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like rating on the video it is very much appreciated and subscribe if you are new to be kept up to date with all the latest rating game information coming out and uh, yeah that's it so uh, i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye